Have you got a brand new English Bulldog puppy or you already have an English Bulldog but you're not really sure what the right products are for your English Bulldog? Well, this is the perfect video for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir English Bulldog Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the English Bulldog and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Getting the right products for your English Bulldog is so, so important. Whether it's a lead, a collar, or even a harness, it's so important that you get the right one. So today we're gonna to be tuning into a webinar that canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirK9Eaters.com, Will has recorded all about the right products for your dog. So in this quick fire webinar, I want to break down what I believe are the best products that all dog owners should have for their dogs and how we at Fenrir have designed and produced these products for you to know that you have the best quality products for your dog in the world. And we'll start with collars. All dog needs a collars and especially in countries like here in the UK when it's a legal requirement to make sure that your dog has a tag on it with your name, address and phone number should it get lost and be picked up and need to be returned to you. Here at Fenrir we have two types of collars. We have our high-end Odin collars which are designed to be the strongest dog collar in the world designed specifically for large powerful guardian breeds and we have recently launched our Ragnar collar which is a more traditional collar made with a wonderful padded material that is extremely comfortable. We personally think it looks awesome and is exactly what your dog needs for its day-to-day -day collar. And very quickly before we dive into the details of our Fenrir Fenrir Ragnar Harness. I'm proud to announce to you our Fenrir Every Dog Has Its Day Promise. This is a project that is incredibly close to my heart and I'm so happy to be able to announce that for every single item we sell, we will feed a dog for a day in a shelter. If you guys have been following my journey, you'll know that I now only, all the work I do in person is on a volunteer basis, working at local shelters, helping dogs that are at risk of being put down. To help those shelters one of the most difficult challenging things is always financial and for me to be able to go in and work with some of these severe cases being able to take that financial burden off their shoulders allows that dog to be able to give more chance for me to be able to go in and work with that dog for longer periods of time to give it the best chance of being rehomed for its forever home and because of what we're doing with our products every single one that we sell we guarantee to feed a dog for a shelter in a day to give it the best chance at being rehomed and finding that forever home. It's what I've been working towards to be able to announce this project and we're now finally at a position to be able to do that and scale that as Fenrir as a company scales and that all comes down to your support. So before I get emotional because I can feel it welling up, thank you so much but let's dive into the details about the harness. Now next up we have harnesses and harnesses have been booming in popularity for the last decade or so. As a canine behaviourist I usually specialize in working with cases of extreme aggression or really serious behavior problems. Sometimes I have to come in and work with dogs that are pulling excessively. Many of these dogs have been utilizing a harness because those dogs pull so hard that it causes damage to their throat. Unfortunately, with a dog that is pulling through a harness, it can allow them to pull much stronger through their chest. And sometimes dogs that have poor quality harnesses that may break, they can easily slip out of them or causes really bad chafing and rubbing and they can just be a mess. So I knew that I wanted to design a harness that I would be proud to work with and proud to have on my own dogs. As for me, there wasn't a harness on the market that fulfilled my own personal needs. And if you want something doing properly, you do it yourself. So that is exactly what we did at Fenrir and we've created our Fenrir Ragnar harness. It is made of extremely durable yet comfortable material and has a full padded top and bottom piece. Most harnesses are only padded on the top, but once the dog gets into it, all the pressure comes from the straps, which is what makes them so uncomfortable. Our harnesses have been designed with a completely padded chest plate that wraps from the chest all the way around to the belly to not only make it extremely comfortable, but it also takes huge amounts of pressure off the dog. And with our dual handle design on the top allows you to easily distribute the weight 
weight and be able to lift your dog in and out of cars, over streams, or if you're really active, helping them up and over serious obstacles, maybe if you're climbing mountains, for example. Which, speaking of, yes, we have two traffic handles. One of the most common things, especially with large, powerful breeds, is to be able to maintain control at all times. And that is where I personally think a harness is most suited. And that's why we added two extremely secure traffic handles, both on the front and at the back. Like I say, for efficient lifting of the dog, but also to be able to reach down and comfortably grab the dog and be able to stop them maybe from running out in front of a road. Or if some disaster is about to happen, the ability to control a dog is just of utmost importance. So we added two for maximum control. I also implemented a triple buckle design to not only increase comfort for the dog, but going also back to what we just discussed about control. We want our dogs to be under control, safe and reliable dogs in all circumstances and environments. Again, especially when we're working with large powerful dogs. So rather than simply a one buckle or even a two buckle harness, we increased it to three buckles to spread the weight, spread the load across the entirety of the dog, but also to increase comfort and increase security. And last but not least, we have our dual buckle design, utilizing extremely strong, heavy duty grade metal to not only be able to clip on top of the dog, like most harnesses, but we also added one on that incredibly secure chest plate. What that does is it actually means that a harness that can be utilized to help a dog that's pulling. If you have a dog that's pulling, attaching the clip to the back of the harness is going to encourage that pulling because it allows the dog to pull through through the harness. We added the clip to the front of the harness, very similar to the fashion of a, a horse halty. And if the dog, if you attach the clip to the front and the dog pulls, it's gonna naturally turn the dog's body, which is gonna be able to decrease pulling and help you get them to that dream of walking beautifully to heal. And the next most important tool that you need for your dog is the leads that you choose. Now, personally, as a canine behaviorist, I like to have multiple different lead options for using with different tools, whether that's collars or harness and to use with different dog breeds and in different circumstances and environments. And that is why with our Fenrir Ragnar range, we launched three leads. First of all is my trusted, time and tested favorite tool in the entire world when it comes to a dog. And that is a trusty, simple slip lead. If I could only ever have one tool with a dog, it would be a slip lead. That is for me, the most important tool in the arsenal of any dog owner, dog trainer, or canine behaviorist. It allows you to provide a nice, even evenly distributed lead pressure to the dog without causing any kind of discomfort. And the way that we have stepped our Ragnar slip lead up to the next level is that we added in an adjustable metal plate. What that means is that you can set the amount that the lead can contract. Some slip leads will contract as far as they pull and unfortunately can cause harm to a dog. We added the metal buckle that can be adjusted so you can give yourself the exact amount of distribution of pressure with your dog without it being able to go so far that it causes any significant harm to the dog and allows you to effortlessly communicate in a safe, fun and enjoyable way. The next lead we have is our standard clip lead. Now for me, working as a canine behaviorist, I unfortunately see the worst of the worst dogs and hear about the most extreme, devastating and traumatic experiences. Many of these experiences have been caused by equipment failure. That was the driving force behind me wanting to create the most secure, high quality products in the world. One of the most common equipment failures is with your standard clip on a dog lead, even if it's one of the metal ones. So when we created our Ragnar dog lead or dog leash, we put a locking carabiner in. Not only are carabiners much more secure and have a higher braking load, but we added one that can be locked. So when you lock it, clip it onto the dog, you lock it, there's no accidental way that the lead can come off and it is extremely durable and heavy duty. So whether you're clipping it onto a lead or a harness, our Ragnar leash is the best in the world. Which then takes us, last but not least, to our Fenrir Ragnar training lead. This is a lead that I have designed to be my most functional, multi-use lead in the world. And if a slip lead for me is my favorite, this one is definitely my second favorite. We have designed it with two buckles on the end of each lead to be long enough with multiple D-rings down to it to be multi-purpose and used in a wide variety of circumstances and situations. Whether you 
you want to be able to attach a lead to both the front and the back of a dog harness for even more extreme cases of durability and reliability. You could also attach it to a dog collar and to a harness, again to give you more flexibility and more reassurance. You can also use it completely as a normal lead by getting one end to the first D-ring to create a loop for a handle and then clip it onto your dog. You can also use it as a multi-use lead for two dogs where you clip it one onto each dog and hold the handle that's then naturally created in the middle. You can also use it, which is my favorite way of using it, as a completely hands-free lead. You can swing it over your shoulder, attach it like a bandolier, then the other end goes down to the dog and you've got a completely hands-free way to work, walk and train your dog. It can also be used as a tether if you're out in public and you want to tether your dog to your chair or the table or to a gate or if you're popping into a shop and you need to put them and tie them up to the dog stop outside of the shop. Again, another incredible use for this extremely multifunctional training lead. Not only that, but also we've designed it long enough that it can be used for recall work as a long line. I'm incredibly proud of our training lead and if you want any more information about any of our Fenrir products, the links will be listed down in the description box below where you can go and check out their incredible pricing that we have made as affordable as possible by going direct to the consumer, you guys watching and supporting these videos, we were able to make the best products in the world at the best prices in the world. Not only that, but we distribute all our products by being partnered with Amazon. So if you've got Amazon Prime, you can have them delivered completely for free, completely next day with the best fulfillment company in the world. We're incredibly proud of this range. We hope that you'll find them as amazing as we did. I was the best part of my career has been designing these products to be the best products in the world. And I hope that you will enjoy them as much as we enjoyed making them. There you go, guys. Some really useful information that Will's spoken about, all about getting the right products for your English Bulldog. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming in every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir English Bulldog Show.